Ram Six Solo. Welcome to my channel and to this for me special Tuesday shave. Today's razor is a, a, a new razor that just came. It's the Carve Fat Handle Tech, or at least that's what I call it because it's the new Carve uh, G Tech Handle modeled after the Fat Handle Tech. Uh, and then I have on it a B plate and the standard. Uh, top cap. So a stain, for me a stainless steel um, fat handle tech. You have here I have another fat handle tech. This is the 1947 uh, fat handle tech hybrid. Um, the British made or the English made one. So you see they look very 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 alike. This is of course a brass razor. Um, the hybrid tech the brass one, the old one, is uh, 56 grams, and this one here is 50, sorry, 87 grams. Um, handle length is three inches, so it's it's a little brother, but you know I love my techs. So to get my favorite razor maker calf to make my favorite razor handle, that's a win-win-win with a little win on it. So I'm really looking forward to this. I have my favorite blade in it, uh, the Visamat, the official people's blade, and also the official blade of uh, J-Mac, one of the uh, the Godfather the, from uh, Le Mafioso, the Canadian Mafia. And here I have the soap that Pete Hendricks made with them the HCNC Le Mafioso. And this is a dupe of Jean-Paul Gaultier's uh, Le Parfum, uh, La Melle Le Parfum. Uh, so a wonderful, wonderful scent. From the puck, it's a six and a half, um, made up here in my bowl. It's it's a little, a little less, a six and a half maybe. The brush is the Robin. The two band badger Robin razor from Yachi that they sent to me for free. Thank you, Yachi. And my new uh, HCNC uh, unpolished stainless steel straight wall bowl. There you had them. This is, uh, you know, a rehearsal shape, you might say, because these two here are going with me. Uh, to on a business trip. So you will be seeing some travel shaves um, in the next four shaves, I think, if I can manage it. Okay, so back in 15. And we are back. Welcome back. This is the B plate, so it's the point HE3 with the neutral exposure. The only one of the calf, Christopher Bradley plates, with the neutral exposure. So why don't I use my favorite C? Because I want this to be as close to the the real tech, the old one, as possible, and this is about the same aggression. So. This handle and two others. Can be bought. Um, they have two old Gillette versions. Well, they are new, but modeled after old versions. In the stainless steel, they have three that just came up, and they have been for the past couple of months having the very same ones in brass. So, if brass is your thing, you can go and make your own. Fat handle tech in brass. Oh yeah, I had a blemish, a little bump, or a little sit here. So 
so I expect a little blot from it. A wonderful autopilot shave. Yes, the handle is much smaller than I usually prefer, but I just love the text. I love the fan handle text and I love the ball end text. So, win win. So, fantastic. Just have a look at it. Man, 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 man. Awesome. Okay. Let's leather up for the second pass. Bag in 15. And we are back. Against the grain, second pass. This is my goat, this head, the Christopher Bradley. And that's just the way it is. I've been loving this head, the ergonomics and the special angle some claims it has since the very beginning. So I really like the goat lander, the overlander too. But this, this is my goat, not the Overlander, even though I like that a lot. The smoothness and the angle of this is just perfect for me. So. Have you gotten this handle? Have you made your own new calf fat handle tech? Or have you gotten the brass one? I will, as always, leave links below for you to go and see. In the moment, at the moment of this recording, they were all available. Ready, as Chris calls it. Perfect the mondo. Let's see. Oh, yeah, a little work needed. Let's feel down here. A little there. And as always, repeat soap. Soaps. A lot of residual res slickness here. I don't know. To, don't need to re-leather to get this. Oh yeah, perfect the mundo. Let's wash our face. Well, not us. Let me wash my face. I see a little blood there, but you know what? My skin feels perfect. And this scent is a scent. It's too strong for my wife. So I only wear it when she's not here and she's away with some friends, her, some of her girlfriends, in a hut in the fjord. So I have a couple of days for myself before going on, my, on a business trip. So of course, I will be using this soap. The razor is from Canada. The soap is made for the Canadian Mafia. So it was kind of a match that was a given. Okay, I also got the splash. See, I have it here. Are you ready? Okay. And it is supposed to be very strong. Stronger than normal aftershave. The scent, the fragrance, 
should almost be like an EDP or an EDT, sorry. Man, that's nice. Man, that's a nice scent. Okay, the bomb is this. HCNC badass because I don't have the uh, what do you call it? The mafioso in the bomb. So this is not uh, the exact same scent, but it's a lovely, lovely, lovely scent, at least for me. Okay, so let's feel it. This skin feels awesome. You ready for the sound test? Perfect mundo. Like, subscribe, hit the bell and share. I will be back on Saturday with a travel shave. So see you there.